Last spring, adult paddlefish netted in Upper Lake Sakakawea and in the Garrison Dam tailrace were brought to the Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery, where biologists gathered eggs and eventually raised about 2,500 young fish that were stocked in late September. We're placing a small coated wire tag in their rostrum, which is the end of their bill. Uh, that allows us in the future when these fish ultimately sexually mature and uh, return in the spawning run and anglers ultimately encounter them in the future, we can, we can read that tag and know what year they were stocked. Frida says the primary benefit of releasing hatchery raised paddlefish into Lake Sakakawea is not to boost the population any significant amount, but to serve as age markers. When we know what age they are, it allows us a technique for age validation. When we're aging wild fish, we know what their jaws look like for growth rings, and then we can compare them to these known age fish when they return. We know exactly how old they are, so it's kind of a calibration method actually to, to verify what we believe our age is on wild fish. And why is it important to know the age of paddlefish when managing the population? Paddlefish are very long lived, you know, 50 years isn't uncommon, but their reproduction and recruitment into the population is real sporadic. So you'll get one big year class maybe every decade or 15 years, and you're relying on that, that year class to support the bulk of the fishery for quite a few years before another year class moves in. So it's, it's real critical to know what you have out there for age structure, you know, when you're determining harvest, safe harvest levels, and what to expect. And after the fish were tagged at the hatchery, they were transported and released in Upper Lake Sakakawea. It's kind of the headwaters of the reservoir, and it's where we typically see young paddlefish at wild produced ones when we do transects in the summer. It's, and that should be where the better food and habitat conditions are, so it should improve survival. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.